everyone welcome back to another reaction video I talked about me wanting to be doing these reactions as long as they come my way i go to pull them out and in today's video i'm going to be reacting to these videos by two nigerians that have given reasons why they like to use belittling words on ghana and Ghanaians will give my opinion as long as these videos keep coming I will continue until I decide not to talk about it anymore but we are in that season so let's talk about it uh, I reacted to that lady the other time where she was her anger jealousy and hatred towards her brethren of another country a lot of Ghanaians were not angry with her they just want her to speak if there's something Ghanaians have done wrong maybe unknowingly to nigerians so they can work on their attitude towards nigerians they are willing to learn so they so they ask the owner of the channel to go back and re-interview the lady again let her spill how she feels and it shouldn't try to correct anything if you just allow her to spill how she feels maybe they can work on you know if there's something Ghanaians are doing wrong it's going to be something that they are gladly going to take correction and work on hey hey you see why then they take one you see, you see you see why some nigerians keep looking down on you guys you guys are extremely kind and nice and too humble you get it but there is a reward for being humble and before i play some clips from the ladies video i want us to read this verse in the bible that says this uh if you have your bible with you that's if you're a christian if you're not a christian no offense because this is my own belief christian this is not to accept you but i am a christian even though i'm not the holiest christian you find around but i am that christian that believes strongly that the word of god will always come to pass uh, my bible verse is taken from the book of proverbs chapter 8 verse 11 verse 11 says for wisdom is better than rubies and all the things that may be desires are not to be compared to it verse 13 this is um, the king james version and the bible says the fear of the lord is to hate evil pride and arrogance and the evil way and and the forward mouth do i hate that is what the bible said to us and when i saw the scripture i knew what came to mind and i was in nigeria then when i went to a church service and we were asked to open our bibles and i stumbled on that and i said oh oh and the lord said unto me this is the life of your people and i said to myself could this be why we are where we are today where kidnapping has become a norm is gradually becoming a norm is gradually becoming a norm now i used to tell my neighbor here because she's nigerian i said my sister if you go to nigeria and nothing happens to you all the people around you are cool no one kidnapped you no one robbed you no one snatched from you no one beats you up at will i think you should thank that person you should be nice to the people just everybody you see that didn't harm you thank them because they can actually do it to you and get away with it that is where we have gotten right now don't forget to bash or love me down there at the comment section because <laughs> we are in the season of truth because see until you acknowledge your problem there can never be solution so i'm talking too much right listen to the lady's speech and i'll be back with my opinionated opinion don't forget to like this video and don't forget to click out if you can't stand this video come back another time when i'm showing you places um around ghana okay Why are they village? Why? 
Do you know the meaning of village? See, we look at them. It, it, is, let me just we look at them is where I have a problem, my sister. I want to believe that you'll be seeing my videos. In case you do, we look at them is where Lillian is against. When next you want to say, say, I look at them. Because when you say we look at, you are simply saying, oh, you mean your village and your tribe or your governor? I, I don't know where this lady is from. But wherever you're from, say, we, they, so, so, and so, look at them this way. Because I don't get it. Let's listen. I will not, and I know a couple of Nigerians that will never look at Ghana as a village. Otherwise, they will not be spending their hard-earned monies coming here on vacation. A lot of Nigerians have been coming on vacation in Ghana. And we are going to talk about that in another video. Because there's something I want us to talk about. So now, let's continue listening to Madam Philomena. What a beautiful name. Uh, a Ghanaian did not come to... A Ghanaian... A, a, is it Ghanaian making you... Uh, you hate Ghanaian, something like that. He said, Ghanaian did not come to do arm robbery, a ritual, murder, and enter fort, etc. <laughs> Oh, Did Nigerian people went there to do those things? Yes, ma. Yes, my sister. I want to confirm it. In case you see this video, yes, our people, if you give them a chance, majority of them will want to try. The reason they are doing small, small here because of the laws here. And the land itself, itself is hot. Ghana has its own special kind of revenge on people that behaves anyhow. Uh -huh. you know they protect anybody so maybe that is why otherwise if you say you want to sit down look like say you want to they just ignore ah, my people would have done a lot thankfully the law here works but that other one like that internet it, like you said interfraud mm -hmm. yes then they do have to for here plenty so let's continue You see now this particular part they annoy me past with my people though. <laughs> this here stick for bad behavior. Why you feel say is okay? So why are you striving to be if you are constantly using that as an excuse uh, to make people feel like uh, or you're trying to use that okay fine you're trying to use that to make yourself feel less guilty for the things you're doing when you know that bad is bad it doesn't matter who commits them so rather than you saying we are not the only bad people so there are other bad people you are going in competition with them what about you ignoring the bad in other people and focusing the in the good focusing in trying to be like the good trying to be the good part of the people you are trying to compete with I don't know this english just jam i don't even know how to separate it this english is fighting but nevertheless it's me i'm going to take it and break it down i mean instead of putting in effort to be a bad person why not put the same effort to be a good person i mean i don't get it why this yastic it is always like that i see people tell me that all the time not the only way they do bad thing uh -uh. So now because they know be only you they do and you want they do and make it a normal normal like that. Let's continue. They say uh Ghana, this Ghana, that go Nigeria. They say almost all Nigeria. The way they classify us, they say almost all Nigeria. Okay, now go back to your questions. Let me go back to this question. Which question are you now? And he said, let me. That's the other question. He said, he name all such things. Said they did not come to Nigeria to do that. Because I said, all the Ghanaian come out for me. I'm not educated. I'm this. I'm not educated. The even worst part of it, this man now said he tests. He said she wants to cry. Yes, I know. He don't have a thick skin like Lily. She want to do. She want to be spilling her opinion on people like me now. I get thick skin now for this video. 
<laughs> when my Niger people come and insult me, I'm not even going to blink about it. I'll insult them back or just delete their comment or just ignore them or this auntie wants to cry. They just ask her a simple question. I mean, like, what is this? So let's listen. Civic war. Civic war. Now she's to talk more, not be me. They did not stop the help. You see why? You see why some people don't like helping. And please, when you are helping people, look at them very well. There are people that you will help. Eh? If you stop helping them, they don't know their way out. But there are people you will just that need help truly. When you help them small, they already know how to take part. Okay, they help you. They called you according to how she wants to bring back history. But if I bring that one, I everywhere go go bad. So she's saying they want to. They helped them. But it didn't stop. So who's, who refused to stop? Is it not lack of rule of law in our land where we say lack of obedience to the rules of law? Nobody wants to obey the law. That is why. Otherwise, that agreement was signed here at Pedwasi at the Ibri Mountain to get it. So why did they go back and then the war took the war started? Why? The war shouldn't have started if they obeyed what the Ghanaian government have said I don't know if you make any sense they didn't obey you now we are blaming Ghanaian on that this speaking thing okay wait she don't even know <laughs> she does she does not know Ujuku. she does not know Ujuku. this is a graduate too. the education system in Nigeria is bad thank you this person yes yes That would because she was reading. She was. He has to go to the internet too. And Ghana, Ghana, Ghana help. Yes, I know about that. And when they help, they help. When they come in, they come in. Come to Nigeria. That is why we are sent them. They have that free hand in Nigeria. All right. They came to Nigeria. I. Because, it, because of that, you are sent them. Or what are you? We are sent them because why? We look at them as neighboring village. Uh, neighboring. Neighboring village. Neighboring. We call them neighboring village. Why? There's this part I want to react to where. She said they are making Nigerians to get resident permits, work permits before they can get jobs in, in Ghana. Yes, but do you know that in Nigeria, you will not know what foreigners are going through because you are a Nigerian. If you live in your own country, you wouldn't know what foreigners go through to be able to live in that country do you get it this is why i don't complain when i come to ghana here they say do this one permit do this one and the reason i've not really done mine apart from the fact that the money is kind of huge for me at once like the ghana card the non-citizen card you don't know what other people go through when they live in your country you don't know a lot of people go through documentation but you wouldn't know because that is your country you know what foreigners in that country are going through I hear some of my some Nigerians who say, "Oh no, why then go say make I go do this paper? Oh, why then go say make I go do that paper? Oh, you don't know that the Ghanaians you see in Nigeria they go through that too. It's a normal thing. The Cameroonians you see in Togo, Togo they go through it. Is something that you wouldn't know exists because you are from there. These are the privileges that comes with you living and being in your own country." Do you understand? So when you go to another person's country, you will think, by the time they ask you to do all these things, you start thinking, oh, why? But in my place, they don't ask. They are not asking your people that are there to do these things. They are asking them to do it. You just do not know because you don't have to do it because you are from there. Do you understand? I have spoken to a couple of persons offline on this issue because there was a time i went somewhere and someone a customer of mine was complaining hey they say me will pay this one oh if not for nigeria now i say because you are living here you don't know what the foreigners in nigeria are going through the liberians the um, togolese the ghanians uh, different countries that are in the avorians in nigeria there are lots of 
people from other african countries that still lives in nigeria as it is you go to lagos you see gambia you see zambian you see so many people but you don't know what they go through before they can open a bank account in nigeria because you don't have to do it because you are from there so some of these things is not like they are forcing us to do it it's something that the people do there that we don't know Them, what we that? accept them because why? We look at them as neighboring village. Uh, neighboring. neighboring village. I'm done with this first part, okay, of this reaction. Eh? Don't really have any excuse for hitting on Ghanaians. She does not have any excuse. She does not have any excuse. I think my people are immune to good behavior. Mm. We have a problem when someone behaves fine. Somebody left me a comment. I have refused to reply to that comment. Even though I have refused to reply to that comment, the person was telling me um, the reason Nigerians are looking down on Ghanaians is because of the jobs they were doing when they were in Nigeria. And he started to name these jobs. Eh, it's because they were hawking, they were selling bonds, they were doing security, they were doing this, they were weaving ashoki, they were doing all the minor minor jobs. So that was why they feel like the Ghanaians don't deserve any respect. And this is what takes us back to the Bible verse that I just read today in this video. You see you see you see maybe what nigeria is going through today is as a result of all of this arrogance that the bible talked about all of our arrogance i can beat my chest to tell you that 50 percent of nigerians now believe that doing illegal thing is a new normal like no more shame in doing what is wrong no more shame in doing what is wrong it's people have normalized doing all sort of people have normalized all kind of bad behavior in the name of keeping up with life in the name of making it in, in the name of trying to earn respect to earn respect by doing illegal job by scamming other people see you guys i turned down money given to me by someone i know his source of income yes someone gave me money when i went to nigeria like that period i was calling for go fund me for my daughter somebody offered to give me when that offer came i called my pastor and i said daddy he said yes i said pray for me i do not want to look at this person and tell him i don't want this money because I, I, but i don't want it help me pray so that the whole plan of him giving me that money will be messed up he will not give it to me because it's going to hurt me badly that i'm turning his money down and i cannot really tell him why i'm rejecting money while i'm online campaigning for a go fund me for my daughter I don't really know how i'm going to tell him that i do not want to accept his money there is no valid reason i'm going to give him for not accepting that offer and i told my pastor daddy pray and let god scatter the whole plan of him giving me that money and guess what god did god did it and he is my witness he did he did god brought in a quarrel between me and the person this person is not god brought in quarrel between me and that person and we quarrel so well and me I was looking for an opportunity to reject this money and when the opportunity came i grabbed it but i didn't tell him i don't want his money we quarrel until the person blocked me hallelujah hallelujah this is not me forming holiness i am nowhere near that but there are some of these things i have told myself i'm going to be doing especially from now on i'm going to try my best the little little that i can do i will do it because a better nigerian begins with me change comes with me change begins with me change begins with me knowing that there's dignity in labor change begins with me knowing that we cannot all sit down and pretend that what people are doing is now right when is wrong do you understand if there's anything i've done before now 
and I did it ignorantly or have enjoyed money made through this means, even though I know where that money is from, it shouldn't be now that I will sit down and start doing that. I am, I hold myself, I, I hold, like I have to be responsible. Preaching for a better Nigeria is beyond coming online to attack people that make YouTube videos coming online to attack people reacting to videos made by Nigerians against other people. It's beyond that. Being a good Nigerian, being that ambassador is everything starts with you. It begins with you. It begins with you. It is beyond you not wanting people to talk about it. It is beyond that. It is beyond you attacking everybody that make an attempt to look at that corner that, that calls you a criminal. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be about who calls you. It's about who made them to call you. Are we speaking, my people? Are we or, like it's about it's about who is responsible for a bad name by the time we start to open this okay yes this bad name that people have given to me is true let me look at it and see what could be responsible that time you will start rejecting monies given to you by family members that you are not sure of their source of income you see why i like my mother <laughs> since my mother discovered that I have made money from YouTube. My mom, now they give me breathing space. My mom would rather ask me for money than ask other people in the family that has more money than me. My mother would choose me instead of them. And then I wanted to know this time and she just like, mm leave that thing if you have money share with me uh -uh. share your money with me now you, you know where you make your money some of these your videos i mean them that is my mother it begins from you not putting pressure on your male child it's begin from you making people not even making allowing people to breathe if they have nothing it begins with you just encouraging good behavior encourage good behavior and change will come indeed it's not about coming on youtube or facebook instagram to attack people that are condemning bad behavior it's about you attacking bad behavior itself and you will see that change will begin it's about you knowing that Knowing that that worker of yours that is sweeping your compound, that is doing it on an empty stomach every day, is about you paying their. This is not about just normalizing everything. It's about you asking not only the young girls. Girl child is the one we all have our eyes on. Whereas some of this crime that your girl child will commit is not even harmful to other people. It's to herself. And it's okay if she wants to destroy herself. At least she don't have to destroy other people. But what about the criminal, the thief, the kidnapper, the armed robber? Yeah, I mean, that one, that yeah, we boy. What about this ones? I'm talking about this ones, this ones, this ones. Until you know where your problem is. Until you know what your problem is. There will be no solution to your problem. There will be no solution to your problem. We have sinned against God. And it's time for us to come together and humble ourselves. The same Bible said, If my people whom I call by my name will humble themselves, I will heal the land. So maybe this is what we should do instead of always being at other people's topic. Uh -huh. This one, you don't look, it's not saying, you know, get money. Afrobeat is the this. Wait, oh, if they kidnap you, it is a where then they kidnap you. Kidnappers, they play music for you. You're mounting pressure on your young guys to go make money at all costs. To go make this money, make this money at all costs. But on Sunday, the biggest church on Sunday, we are in church. Some of the most popular and most populated and biggest churches on heads in africa are located in nigeria yet now we know they safe 
what is the problem it means that we have been pretending not to notice what the problem is for a very long time and it's time for us to start to look and i am joining the movement and nobody can stop me i am going to do my part the little that i can do and that change begins with me stop looking down on other people who for doing the right thing stop downgrading people because of their choices okay i want to live small i want to make little money i want to build only a house for myself the only thing you hold your kids in this life is sound education if you cannot give them that private one give them the government own it has made it there for everybody if i had opportunity all my kids would have been in a government school and my little daughter will go to a government school but later not right now when she's in you know secondary school has secondary school my daughter is going to go if we are still in Ghana, if we are still in ghana for secondary school my daughter will go to the government school yes my Ghanaian daughter will go to the government school the reason i cannot enroll my other daughter i've always stated why i cannot you know what is going to take the financial burden off me because i don't want to kill myself trying to make money if I can build one small house for myself, room or two room, one for me, one for my kids, it's okay. When they grow up, they will work for their own and build their own. We don't have to always pretend that we can't see our bad behavior. Mm? A lot of Nigerians are living in Ghana and they are doing illegal things. And a lot of Nigerians are living in Ghana are doing legal things. And is affecting the ones that are doing legitimate things. Do you understand? So change begins with you. Maybe it's time you ask your family member what they do in Ghana. Ask them. Me, my mama have asked me, and I told her, and I told her, and she believed me, and it's true. You see? So please, instead of looking for who to blame and constantly looking down on others and acting like a witch, start to start to look into it like this start to think of how to start the campaign from your household you know any of your brothers that you're not sure of his source of income reject his money make him feel lonely he will stop you know of any of your sisters that you cannot explain her source of wealth she gives you money tell her no you know the chop her shower money do you understand that is if you want to but for me you see prostitution and kidnappers you see a prostitute and a kidnapper and a yahoo boy and um, arm robber they are not the same to get it mm? the prostitute lady is doing herself but the rest are doing the society please i'm done with this video catch me on my next one i'll see you in my next one bye